Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. And this was sent to me by my favorite retired physicist and mathematician, Alan Bromborski. We have the definite integral from 1 to e of x plus 1 times the quantity of natural log of x cubed plus natural log of x over x dx. So go ahead, solve this on your own. Pause the video, give it a try. If you're in Calc 2, you should be able to do it. So I'm going to start off making a u substitution because I see natural log of x here a couple times and then this extra x in the denominator, so that'll work out just fabulously. Let's go ahead, let's let u equal the natural log of x and then du would be 1 over x dx. So boom, there's my 1 over x dx waiting for me. Now I have this extra x here, so I'm going to rearrange, solve for... That's right, x in terms of u. So rewriting this in exponential form, we have e to the u is equal to x. And then don't forget, we need to change our limits of integration. So currently, 1 and e belong to the variable of the integral, which is x. So u of 1, my lower limit, would be natural log of 1, which is 0. And then u of e is natural log of e, which is 1. Lovely. Okay, so here we go. Let's rewrite the integral all in terms of u. Now it goes from 0 to 1. x plus 1 becomes e to the u plus 1. ln of x cubed is just u cubed plus another u. And then all of this dx over x, that's just my du. Okay, beautiful. Now from here, I'm going to distribute. I'm going to distribute e to the u times this quantity and then 1. And split this into two integrals for now because one I will tackle by parts, and then the other one we can just go ahead and already integrate. Okay, so we've got e to the u times u cubed plus u du, plus the other one is just gonna be one times u cubed plus u du. You don't need so much parentheses, I just want you to see exactly what I'm doing with distributing. Okay, this one here, no problem. We learned how to integrate a polynomial way back when. This one here, we could do by parts, but it'll take multiple rounds because we have a third degree polynomial. So I prefer tabular or DI method in such a scenario. So we'll differentiate the polynomial quantity u cubed plus u until we get zero and then integrate e to the u the same number of times. So let's go. So this will be three u squared plus one, six u, six and zero. And then I'm just gonna keep integrating e to the u and we get e to the u how cute that's my coffee pot excuse it okay i'm up super early i got up at five because i want to go to hot yoga at 7 30 let's see if i'll make it okay then we take diagonal products and the signs alternate okay beautiful so i think we're ready to go i'm going to write out what the antiderivative is notice here i have e to the u times all of these quantities. So I'm just gonna write it once outside. Why rewrite it so many times? So we'll have u cubed plus u minus three u squared minus one plus six u minus six, boom. So I've integrated this entire first quantity here and then we could just slap the other guy on, boop. Plus, this will be one fourth u to the fourth plus one half u squared, and then all of this is evaluated from zero to one. Okay, before we start evaluating it, let's just clean up in here a wee bit, shall we? Yes, this is gonna be u cubed minus three u squared, ooh, plus seven u minus seven. Okay, so now we've got e to the u times u cubed minus three u squared, plus seven u minus seven, plus one fourth u to the fourth, plus one half u squared, evaluated from zero to one. So here we go. So upper limit, we'll have e to the first times one minus three plus seven minus seven, plus one fourth plus one half, minus lower limit's gonna be e to the zero, that's all a bunch of zeros times negative seven plus zero plus zero. Okay, so what do we got going on here? These cancel, this is negative two. So we have negative two e plus a fourth plus a half. 
And then this is just gonna give me, that's right, positive seven. And then we're nearly there. So this is 28 over seven plus, 28 over four, excuse me, 28 over four. And then that's gonna be plus two over four. So we're at 30 over four, 31 over four minus two E. Oh, I love this one so much. Did you get it? Did you tackle it differently? Please do let me know in the comments down below. I think a lot of you are still on winter break. I go back, our classes start Monday. So I will be making more content in the meantime, all semester long. So make sure you have your notifications on. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V. Thank you guys so much for your support and I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.